Welcome to a day in the life on the road. I just got out of a two night, three day backpacking trip in California, Sierra Nevada earlier today. It's about 4.51 right now. I got out of that trip at noon, I think by the time I like got into the car and everything like that. Um, my car is in a bit of a state right now because I had to um, take out all of the scented items and store them in a bear locker. Now, <laughs> I'm actually um, camping out tonight in the Sierra at a campground called McGee Creek Campground. I really like this campground. It is $27 a night, um, but I like that it has fire pits, picnic tables, bear boxes. It's creekside, which is nice. Uh, to go, you know, soak your feet in the creek or whatever. And then the restroom facilities here are flush toilets with like individual rooms that have running water sinks too, which is just like so nice to be able to just wash your hands properly. Um, so it's good for one night for me, especially since I am refitting for another trip that starts tomorrow. The trip that starts tomorrow is another pretty easy trip and it's just one night. So what I've got to do this evening is my backpack is still packed. I've just got to sw swap out a couple of things to make sure that I have all the clean things I need, all the hygiene items that I need, um, food, but pretty much everything is going to be set on that. Also, I've decided that I was, I wasn't cold. I just think that I would be better suited to bring my Sierra Designs backcountry bed sleeping bag with me on this trip. Um, on the last trip, I had my Sierra Designs nitro quilt, which is a 20 degree quilt. And I really like it. Uh, it has like this feature where you can put your face through the quilt. Um, and so you can kind of be like cocooned in there. But every now and then it would kind of come up on the side and I would get a cold spot. And I know if I bring my backcountry bed, that's not going to happen to me. So um, I'm just going to swap them out. And that's pretty much it. My gear will pretty much be set for that. I've got to cook dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, so I would have liked to get to camp a little bit earlier. But as I got out and down into town. I had um, correspondence to return, um, you know, planning for future trips and touching base with people I'm going to be meeting up with soon, kind of seeing what's going on, what's the plan. I also had to book the permit for the trip that I'm going into tomorrow because I just didn't book it ahead of time because I just didn't know how I would be feeling. Um, and then had to call the ranger station. Like, just ton of stuff that when you don't have constant um, cell coverage, it um, means that when you do get into coverage, it's like, okay, what are all the things I have to get done? <laughs> and so that was sort of the mad rush of earlier today. And so this evening, it's going to be, um, yeah, just getting organized, getting ready for tomorrow so I can get an early start cooking myself a um, nice dinner, um, listening to the guy in the campsite one side over play guitar. I love that. I wish I could play guitar. <laughs> um, maybe one day I'll learn. I am rambling. Can you tell that I have spent a lot of time by myself recently? <laughs> okay. The one thing I did do First thing when I got here was I set up my solar panel to get my battery bank charged because I do need to also um, transfer the footage that I have from this last trip to my um, external hard drive so that I can clear my SD card so that I can make a full trip video for you tomorrow using my real camera. This video today will be shot on my cell phone just because it's just on the fly and Got a lot to take care of. I got a lot of prep work to do, and I just want to make sure I have all that set up. So, yeah, just trying something new with this and just randomly deciding to do it. And let's, let's get started with all this stuff. This is going to take a while. 
Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday through Thursday and Friday and Saturday too We'll look for a home that is just right for you Monday through Sunday and the whole week through Ooh, 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 ooh We'll find a home that's just right for you like to issue a formal apology for the state of my appearance. My shirt is so filthy. I am dirty. I need to get myself cleaned up to some acceptable level. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, like I live outside. Just got out of a backpacking trip and uh, it's real life. I didn't make myself all glamorous for this video. This is life as it's happening. If you were here with me, you get the same thing. <laughs> Except it might be a little worse with a slight tinge of this odor. <laughs> costume change. <laughs> I feel like human again instead of a filthy monster. <laughs> Time to start dinner. I've moved my setup to the leeward side of my vehicle and it's helping block some of those wind gusts so hopefully my stove will work okay. For dinner tonight I want to keep it pretty easy. I'm getting pretty tired. It's already 6.35. Um, I have some pinto beans and some green chili that I have in the cooler left over. So I'm going to heat that up, probably make a little bit of rice and maybe a couple of eggs and then just have like a little rice, beans, and egg bowl. <laughs> Sounds maybe a little strange, might taste a little strange, but... It'll do the trick and it's made with some leftovers that I have since I'm going to be in the backcountry tomorrow night. I don't really want to cook a whole new dish or anything like that. I want to use what I have ready to go. So we're going to see how this turns out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It took a while, but hope got it right. Got some beautiful colors going on in Owens Valley there behind me. It's looking very nice. <laughs> um, it's been a wonderful evening, very productive day. It is now 
7.50 and it's still light out and I love that. So many hours in the day to get so much done and I just love what I'm doing so I want to do a lot. <laughs> um, here's the other view right here. It's looking really pretty too. But um, I have everything all cleaned up for dinner. It is still very windy out. Fortunately, it's not actually that cold right now. Um, so that's nice. I am going to climb into the car and get the rest of the things done that I need to get done, such as transferring the footage um, from the trip I got out of today and uh, formatting my card so that I can capture a fresh new trip starting tomorrow. Super excited for the things that are coming up. And um, yeah, I'm going to do that and then probably start in on a new book. I've picked up, I've got this book here that I'm um, going to start reading called Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. And I'm excited to start on that tonight and probably call it a pretty early night. Hopefully I'll be able to get a rather early start tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Good morning. Slept pretty well last night. It is oh, uh, my watch on. Um, I think it's just about seven. Got up at six and just started getting myself together a little bit. Now it's time for coffee. <laughs> Having one of those days where I feel like I'm really dragging without coffee. I know some people have to have it like first thing every single morning. That's actually not how I am. Um, in fact, a lot of times when I'm backpacking, I don't even drink coffee at all. But um, yeah, this morning I needed to get going. <laughs> I want to try to get an early um, start out on the trail for my backpacking trip today. So I have mostly everything ready, but I'm just gonna um, get this coffee and hit the road. I get on over to the trailhead and then I'll finish up the last touches because I do need to put all of my um, scented items in a bear storage locker there at the trailhead, so I can't quite get everything completed right here. I'm so ready for coffee.
Okay, it's 7.25. I'm about to have my first sip of coffee and then all will be right with the world. All right. Do you hear the birds chirping? <laughs> okay, they were chirping before. I'm gonna make myself a little bit of like a breakfast thing. I have a couple of these little bagels left. And I have some cream cheese and some turkey breast. I'm just gonna make like little sandwiches with that. I am a little concerned though, because I feel like I should buy ice for my Yeti cooler. It actually melted a lot, a lot, a lot yesterday. Because <clears throat> down in the valley, it's like, I think the highest I saw for the temperature was like 85, so quite warm. And when it's like that, my ice tends to melt in my Yeti very quickly um, and I just kind of forgot about that because this is the first time it's happened this season what I've been doing is I usually only have enough groceries I think this is the 40 liter cooler I'll have it linked but I usually only have enough groceries so I have some pretty good space in there um, so I'll buy two like seven pound bags of ice and one of the bags I will not break apart at all. It'll just completely stay in the bag and I like to have it just keep really solid because it takes longer to melt in that form. And then the other bag I'll keep as solid as possible but I usually have to break it up a little bit. Um, yeah so that's kind of how I do things and that's working out better than it was last year but I'm still not super crazy about the whole cooler thing and a lot of people are gonna say get a fridge I wish I I wish I had gotten a fridge uh, but I bought this and I really just can't spend the money on getting the whole fridge set up right now but if I were to do it all over again that's what I would have done so, sandwiches are ready I snagged my registration receipt and I am off. It is, I don't know what time it is. 7.39, 7.39.